Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You bet. Meanwhile, the cover of the New York Post, say it ain't Joe. New reports revealing more Democrats are losing faith in President Biden's White House future as one squad member is pressed on her support of Joe. President Biden, he is saying he's going to run again in 2024. Will you support him? You know, if the president chooses uh, to run again in 2024, I mean, first of all, I'm focused on winning this majority right now. That's not a yes. Yeah, you know, I think uh, we should okay. endorse when we get to it. But I, I, I believe that the president has been doing a very good job uh, so far. And, um, you know, should he run again? I think that I, you know, I think it's it's we'll take a look at it. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich is the author of the upcoming book, Defeating Big Government Socialism, and he joins us now. Mr. Speaker, thanks for being here. It's not a yes, uh, but she it sounds like she's speaking for a lot of Democrats these days. <clears throat> well, look, I, I think there are left-wing Democrats who are genuinely unhappy uh, that he's not more liberal, and then there are normal Democrats who are just terrified that the election result's going to be so bad this fall that it's going to uh, decimate their party. We, we just did a survey at the American Majority Project, and 87 percent of the country wants to return to an America that works. They didn't say liberal or conservative, but they just mean you can afford to buy gasoline. You can, you know, find infant formula. You can have a border that's controlled. You can walk a street without worrying about carjackings or murders or robberies or rapes. And I think that Biden has a real problem because none of the policies he's following are going to create an America that works. And as it gets worse, people are going to become even more unhappy with the Democratic Party in general and with President Biden in particular. And that, Newt, is why one DNC member told the New York Times, uh, they said that Joe should announce his intent not to run right after the midterms. Uh, they also, part of the article, no. uh, one of the articles today in the New York uh, Post, Bernie Sanders, 2020 campaign manager, he said that he thinks Joe would beat Trump if Trump ran a second time. But if the Republicans nominate a somebody like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Democrats might want to look elsewhere for a candidate. So if it's Trump, they feel that Biden could beat him. But if it's somebody else, they got to get rid of Joe. Well, I, I think uh, Biden's biggest problem is things like five or six or seven dollar a gallon gasoline. I think in some parts of California, over eight dollars a gallon. Uh, things like, you know, 15,000 people in a caravan. That's a World War II infantry division coming yeah. north to cross the American border illegally against a government so weak and so incompetent it can't figure out in advance how to stop them. Uh, I think people are worried, as we just saw in the San Francisco recall, where 60 percent voted uh, to recall a communist district attorney who was literally a communist who had been releasing prisoners. Uh, so you have all these real policy questions. Uh, you just had a conversation about homeschooling versus what's happening uh, in our schools. I think every time you turn around, Americans find things aren't working. And I, I don't see any likelihood that Biden is going to change in a way that solves any of these problems. So if you read the article in the Post, it says the reasons are poll numbers are dropping, his age, he would be 82 on Inauguration Day, 86 when he leaves office if he wins again, uh, weaken political standing and shakiness on the world stage. Who do the Democrats have, though? Would it be P Pete Buttigieg? Would it be Kamala Harris? Look, vacuums attract candidates. Uh, who could have sat there at this stage <clears throat> in uh, 2014 and told you Donald Trump was going to run and win? Mm. Uh, it was inconceivable. No, I mean, nobody would have said it. Uh, the Democrats have lots of governors. They have lots of senators. They have ambitious people uh, who are, are, you know, Hollywood stars, uh, billionaire entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody will emerge. The vacuum attracts somebody. The problem they've got is... If they emerge as a left-wing, big government socialist candidate, they're just going to lose. Mm. Uh, we, we have crossed a watershed where people have been reminded for the first time since Jimmy Carter that this stuff doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's such an enormous burden for the Democrats.
I hope you're right, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, nobody knows it better, so we're glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, we thought we were getting that with Good Biden, job. though. We thought we were getting a moderate, and then he comes in and then is well, swayed by the progressives. One thing to campaign. Day one. Another thing to govern. Well, exactly. exactly right. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Have a great there Monday. Are no moderate, there are no moderate Democrats. Well, that is true these days, for sure. All right, we are 40 minutes.